I just finished watching that video of Eminem, I guess what some people refer to as calling out Donald Trump. And people are praising and basically falling at the feet of Eminem, worshiping him for going after Trump because Trump is their enemy. But my question is, who made Eminem the spokesman for black people? Now, before I go, I'm going to put that video link on the bottom. And if you have not seen it, you can go and check it out for yourself. I watched that video. And while Eminem, I guess in his own way, going off on Donald Trump, in the background is black folks standing there, black dudes standing there, while the white dude is in front, the spokesman, the spokesperson for black people. But who made him the spokesman for black people? You know, it's, it's nerve wracking. When I hear so-called black conscious people, or even just black folk, they don't even have to be conscious. When I hear them always saying what we built, you know, at one time we were kings and one time we were kings and we were priests and we built this country and we built civilizations and we built the pyramids and we built the White House and we, we were great at one time. But now you're at the absolute bottom and what little bit you do create or do you or you do have for yourselves, you vote it away. You give it away to white people and allow, allow them to take the reins and become your king. So hip hop was born out of the Bronx. And we always hear these so-called rappers that saying how, you know, it was born in the Bronx, you know, especially dudes from the Bronx. People are trying to take credit for it, but yet you made an outsider. Not so much as outside of New York City or outside of the Bronx, but outside of the race. You allow him to be crowned king of hip hop and no one disputed that. No one disputed it because even in the background of this video, you see black folks standing there, black dudes standing there, being less than the men they supposed to be. You're always saying how you are a man, but yet you're not even a man in hip hop, although hip hop came from you. So who made him spokesman of black people? Who crowned him king of hip hop? So you mean to tell me that in the black folks that's in this country and globally, you're telling me that no one is greater than Eminem? No one is greater than Slim Shady? He is the greatest to the point where now Everybody is worshiping and kissing his feet because he made a freestyle about Donald Trump. I find that quite interesting. And this is why you can't always take black folks serious. You give away everything. You gave away hip hop to someone that's a complete outsider outside of the Bronx, outside of New York City, and even outside of your race. And you crown him king of hip-hop and stand in the background while he speak for you. I find that quite interesting. I'm going to put that video link on the bottom. You guys check it out. Subscribe and share this video. Feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.